Here's your future cast. We may get a tiny little shower this evening as this front comes through, but rain is not a big deal for us. We will get sunshine back tomorrow, but it will do absolutely no good with this north wind driving in this incredibly cold air. Look at the wind gusts. Okay, this is tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, right along the coast, 32 to 36 mile per hour wind gusts. If this was a typical Saturday, I would just say, don't go boating, stay inside, kind of cold. But we got a huge parade going on, and the invasion around 10 o'clock, you're looking at winds gusting 34 to 36 miles per hour in Tampa Bay, okay? You've got gale warnings along the coast, small craft advisories in the bay. Tomorrow is not the day to follow the boats if you've got a real small. It really, really isn't, folks. It's, it's not even worth it. Watch it on land. Again, it's your judgment call, but if you're thinking about it, you got a 34 mile per hour wind gust tomorrow. Forecast wind chills for tomorrow will also be in the 30s almost all day long. So while temperatures may touch 50 briefly, our wind chills all day are going to be in the 30s and 40s. So this is just a real cold air mass being driven south by that massive nor'easter up in New England. It happens once in a while. It's been a while since we've had that direct path of Arctic air coming straight at us, but that's what's going to happen this weekend. So I got 68 degrees today. Maybe you get a late shower, folks, but I'm not concerned about any rain with this significant rain with this front. Light job today, rough, a very rough tomorrow. Please understand that, especially for those that are going out and wanting to be around the invasion and the boats and this and that. It is going to be very, very rough out there. 52 if we're lucky for a high. 35 in Tampa Sunday morning, but you get away from the influence of any water, you're going to be below freezing Sunday morning. High of 58, but by Wednesday, unreal, huh? We're back into the upper 70s again. I guess that's why we live here, though.